In this quick tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a page for an organization. The first step is to get to create new Facebook page. To do that, you need to have a personal account. Facebook doesn't like you have an account as an organization. They would much rather see you have a personal account and then create pages and send your fans and customers to that page, not to a personal account. The easiest way is to type in create and notice that it puts it all the way up at the top create a new Facebook page. At this point it gives you six basic things that you can create a page for. Depending upon what is most appropriate you need to figure out which type of page you should create. So for example you might want to create one based upon a company organization or institution. Or you might want to create one on a local business or place. You'll notice that as you click on them they give you different pieces of information. For this example we're going to choose a company, organization, or institution and we'll be creating one for a small local church in our community. So I'm going to come down under my categories and choose church slash religious organization. Then I'm going to pick the in this case organization name. I'm going to type that in and say that I agree to the Facebook page terms. Click get started. At this point it's going to want a profile photo. We can upload from a computer or import from a website. I'm going to choose upload from a computer. Now Facebook is going to want you to have an image that's at least 180 by 180 pixels. It can be larger and it will shrink it down for you but it will not let you have one smaller. Once you've selected that choose next. It wants some basic information and then it can add additional things like links. So let's put some basic information. Let's add our home page. Paste that in. We can click to add another site. We could add our Twitter account for example. And then we want to say will this page represent a real organization, school, or government? Yes it does. And click save info. We can choose to enter in a, a Facebook specific page. This is a way that people can find us by just typing in a direct address. We're going to say set address. Now if you have something like this where it's not available, we just need to change what we're requesting. Usually adding a location will help. So this is for an organization known as the upper room. We're going to change it to the upper room of Popka. Say set address. And we're going to say, do we want to enable ads for this organization? We're going to skip this. Since we're not going to participate in this, we're going to click on skip. And we're basically done. Now you notice it's going to take you to a real quick uh, little tutorial, walk you through the area. We're going to say we want to make sure we like the page. We can invite people to our page using email contacts. And we can share information. Anything we share we put in here will be on a timeline. Anytime we post something as administrator, this will show up on our timeline and will show up in anyone who likes us in their feed. And that's a real basic setup. We do want to make a couple quick changes. First, we want to add a cover. Now the cover is a unique photo. There's a couple things we want to make sure that we don't do and they've basically placed them here in this text. Mainly we need to avoid putting anything that's a promotion, coupon, or advertisement. We don't want to have too much text on it or infringe on anyone's copyright. Click OK. We're going to upload a photo. You can find a lot of information about how to create this type of image online. One thing that is interesting you may notice is that you can drag your image around to different locations. Now we have a map where we're trying to show location where it is just to kind of help out people. Once it's in a position that we're comfortable in and we like, we can go ahead and click Save Changes. Now if we click up and go to our admin panel, we have a button for editing a page. We can update information. So we can pick different things like this. Now under the basic information we can do things like create a start date and specify those types of things. We can put in our address, so you can copy and paste that just to give you some different information. 
You can have a longer description, mission, founded, etc. that you might want to do. Once this is done, you want to make sure you click on save. Now, Facebook had a small problem with calling it North Park Avenue. When we just changed our Park Avenue, it could actually find this, and now it actually shows us on a map. So we can do this, which is kind of a nice little feature. We can manage other things such as permissions, settings, etc. You can simply go through the menu on the upper left hand side and it will provide you with that information. When you're done, you can click on view page. It'll take you to your page. It'll specify notifications, what has gone on recently. That's things like have people liked images that you might have posted, have people liked your page, etc. You can see your messages. Your messages are people who have sent you a Facebook message directly, so something's not going to show up in your timeline. See a list of new likes, insights. Now this is going to take about 30 people before you can start seeing any insights. But once you do that, you'll get a chance to see how many people like your page, changes in likes, changes in uh, people who have liked content that you've posted, etc. You have a chance to invite your friends. And that is how you set up a Facebook page very quickly, very simply for your local organization. And if you need more help learning how to set up your organization on social media and on the web, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter.